everyone and welcome to Wow Tips by Ice Lighting. In this video I'm going to show you the July 2023 trading post done in just under 2 hours 30 minutes. I've done this solo with one character to show you it can be done, it could be done faster, but this is how I did it. So when I logged in I already had 150 points which I thought was a bit weird, but I had a look and it's because I stole the opposition's flame for the midsummer. So uh, for me I did Ogramar, but if you're a horde you need to do Stormwind. So this trading post, we are working towards a new Drake. So mounts are always fun. What am I going to start with? So the first thing I thought I'd go and do was go and cheer for the dragon aspects. So it's only uh, 20 um, points, but you know, it's relatively simple. Just click on the three aspects and type cheer. So since it's simple and easy, might as well get that done. Job done. Next up I decided to do the 25 raid bosses. It doesn't specify dragonflight so you can do anything you like. So I tend to go to Naxxaramas first which you'll find in Northrend up here and you enter through the bottom. So Naxxaramas has 15 raid bosses. As it's an old legacy raid they are really easy. You can one shot them at 70. There's four quarters that you'll need to complete before you can go up through the center. So if you've never done it before that might be a bit confusing but that's how you do it. When you defeat the final one you can see that I am now at 15 of my 25. So the next place I then go is the Molten Core. So the Molten Core has 10 in there. You'll find it at the bottom of Blackrock Mountain so if you don't know where that is it is over here or it is over here just above Stormwind. So you enter through this guy here and he will teleport you to the core and you'll see all 10 are there. So when you defeat the final boss you will then get that added to your training post. So you can see there that was a nice 250 points. Really good to start with. So next up I decided to do another one that I feel was relatively easy. It's a PvP quest. Now the only reason I decided this one was easy it's 100 points. Put war mode on and right now, as in today, this one is active and nobody is here anymore. All you need to do is literally kill these little guys and you're getting like 25 per one or five, I can't remember. Anyway, I went around four times, nobody else in sight. Easy hundred for a PvP quest. So next up I then decided to go and have a look at my unlocking the doors in the vault. So I still have 60 odd keys so it really didn't take me long to open 10. So there you go, another um, nice easy 100 points. So then I realised that there is 150 points just from creating any of the Shadow Flame crests. Don't know about you lot but I'm almost like I got over 200 of these little whelpling ones. Uh, I just keep them in my bag for no reason whatsoever. So I created three of those. Easy points. Definitely worth doing. So next up, the World Dragon Flight boss. So this one will give you 100 points. Easy enough. Do the world quest. People are there. Kill it. There you go. Easy points. So then I decided to go and do this so for... Oh, I can't even say it. So the Crucibles, where the fury is going on. Um, I hadn't done that this week yet, so there's still a world quest which made my life easier. You need five for each um, crucible that you need to loot, so you need to get 15 in total. Um, if you're doing it in a group, it's, it's real easy, and there you go, that's another 100 points easily done. So, while doing all these, it occurs to me that I am completing world quests and quests. So you can see here I'm already at 11 quests down and for world quests I am up to two or three. So I then decided those would be the next ones I would work on. So quests stand for anything. So if you haven't finished all the Dragonflight quests, go do some of them. Or things like this one, Memorable Victory, all those kind of ones that you give to the Tuscan, that counts. Handing in your Aiding the Accord, that counts doing the um this week especially is the 10 world quest one um that also counted as a quest now those don't count as the world quests but it counts as quests so um do those ones they're nice and simple and then just go off and do your other world quests i usually do the the simple ones um like the flying or the pet battles but when i completed that i actually got the bonus of having done the reputation one as well so the reputation one gave me 150 points as well so that was nice to get that so then i finished off my 30 quests which i just used world quests for and that gave me my final 200 points 
and I went and collected. So annoyingly, although I had to collect 1,400, it only gave me 1,200 coins, but it did still give me my Drake, which I love. And then I thought, well, I can't mount it here. Why can't I mount this Drake? This is one of the Dragonflight Drakes. So this was, um, I didn't actually realize. So it was nice to get a new Drake for Dragonflight. Obviously, everyone is gonna have this Drake, so that makes it boring. I will use it later when other people aren't using it. I'll stick with the blue one that I've been messing with. But here he is. Here is our new pretty Drake. If you want to show everyone how fast you are, that is the one to be getting now. So I went back to the trading post to have a look and see what else is available. Um, I already have the charger. I've had it for years. Um, obviously, I always want pets and I always want mounts. But due to it only giving me 1,200 points, which I think is terrible, um, I can't have both. So this time I've chosen to go with the pet and uh, I've decided that the other one I'm going to freeze so I can pick it up next month, which is annoying to me because if they're going to make me collect 1,400, they should have given me 1,400. Um, but there you go, you can drag it down there, you can freeze it and I can pick it up next month as long as there's nothing else really truly awesome. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. As always, thanks for watching and subscribe to see what else I'm up to.